All right, guys, we're back. A couple hours later, she's on. She's looking good. Obviously, we got more to do. I got to cut the back frame rails off, make the bumper mount. I do have to pull the bed off one more time and weld everything final. But I built the subframe, goes all the way front to back. I gotta drill the holes and bolt it. I tacked on the brackets that are gonna come off the subframe and catch the bed holes. We'll weld them solid front and back. There's another one way in the back there. So we'll weld all those up solid. And uh, it's gonna look good. Really, I mean, the bed lines fit really good for what it is. I mean, you know, it, uh, it's pretty nice and flush here. I left about a two and a half, three inch gap. You know, the bed curves a little bit. But, uh, you know, the squared off fenders on the back, you know, really do match the squared off fenders on the front. So the profile of the truck, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty there. So we're getting there. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna keep going a couple more hours on this thing tonight. Get this bed 100% mounted, and then um, once I have the other side mounts welded on, I'm gonna pull the bed off. Then I will weld everything with the big welder. Right now, I'm just using the little buzz box. Tack everything up, pull the bed off, go through, weld everything solid. And then uh, after that, it'll be time to paint the chassis and set the bed on for the last time. So uh, we're, we're making headway. We're going to keep pushing the night. We're going to get this subframe all done, get the back of the frame cut and make the buffer mount. That's what I'd like to get done tonight. So the uh, C5500, actually I said 4500 in my last video, but C5500 is coming along. It's going to be a great boat hauler. You know, one of the things that I really do like about this truck, it's got the quad piston calipers. It's got the heavier GVW. The 4500s have a 17.5 GVW. And uh, these 5500s, they have a 20,000 GVW down here. So it's kind of nice, it gives you a little extra capacity. Um, so that, that'll be nice. It'll be a great truck for, you know, towing the big boats. It, uh, it's gonna do well. But we'll get back with you. Just kind of wanted to give you an update of where we sat tonight what i want to get done what i have gotten done um you know from the back i mean it it, it does it matches the truck good i mean it's it's gonna be nice so forward bed on a gmc front half we'll frankenstein it up right we're gonna get that ford emblem off there and have a custom one made out of billet and then uh, we're gonna run this thing the way it is. We're gonna run the shit out of the 8 1. And when it blows up, we'll decide what we're gonna do next. But I mean, I really like how they perform. I think this thing would be awesome with like an 8 3 in it, 8 3 Cummins, or a, you know, maybe something a little bigger than that. I don't know. Maybe a 31 26 cat. Not a huge cat fan, but uh, you know, I, I'm definitely gonna keep the Allison Automatic 6 speed in there. Yeah, this was the uh, 08, and it had the five-speed tune, but we were able to flash it, put the six gear in it. Uh, it runs the pump a little well on fluid, you know, starves it a little bit when you when you tune them like that because it's really tranny had some upgrades done to it. You really should change the pump when you go when you tune it in the six gear, but um, it's gonna run this summer. I think it's gonna be a great towing pig. And uh, as soon as this thing's out of here, guys, in a week or two, it's gonna be time. The old Top Gun's gonna get pushed over and we're gonna get that thing going. I, I really wanna be water testing by fall if we can, you know, we'll see. I can't wait to color match the boat to the truck and uh, it's gonna be a cool rig. We're gonna go do some fun runs, some poker runs and get this thing out there for everyone to see. So, all right guys, we'll be back.